Hello and welcome. Let's see how we can use JavaScript to read a photo's EXIF data. So I want to get the date and time a photo was taken, as well as the longitude and latitude so I can point to Google Maps and show exactly where it was taken. To do this, I will use a library called EXIF Reader. So if you just Google it, you'll get the NPM page here and the GitHub page. So it's this one. this one right here. So if we here you can find some information about what file types it supports, etc. And if we go to usage, I'm simply going to use uh, a script tag to import it. So let's get started. As you can see, I've prepared a, an image here, londoncathedral.jpg with an ID of cathedral. I got a button calling a function that will write load exif data. A date and time, here's where we'll, sh where we'll show that. And a link to Google, Google Maps here. So. Create our function. Let's get the URL of the image. Dot .src and let's call exif reader dot load the URL let's console log tags see what we're getting back source Oh, it's only cathedral, not image. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're getting a bunch of data here. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so we're getting date, time here. Description, so 2018, July 15th at 1.25 in the afternoon. Okay. Let's search for GPS. There we go. So we got the latitude here and the longitude here. Okay, perfect. And I think I'm going to use this as well to create my link to Google Maps. Yeah, the value to know if it's a negative or if it's a negative longitude or latitude. But that's for later. Let's just close that for now. Okay. Let's write the date and time out. Okay, let's try it. Awesome. 2018, 715 at 125.49. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get the location. Longitude and latitude. Lats. GPS latitude dot description. Longitude. Let's constant log it to make sure we're getting it. Yeah, we're getting it, I think. Yeah. Now let's also figure out if it's a negative or a positive one. So latitude. If tags.gps latitude ref is south. Same thing for longitude. Let's console log that again.
Oops, that needs to be a let. Okay, so the longitude is negative. Now let's create the Google Maps link. Google.com slash maps slash the latitude slash the longitude. So I took this photo inside a cathedral in London a number of years ago. So hopefully Google Maps should point to a cathedral in London. Let's try it. Okay, what did I do wrong here? Ah, okay. It's supposed to be slash maps slash place. Let's try it again. Ah, it's, it needs to be a comma, not a slash. Latitude, comma, longitude. One more time. All right, there we go. Westminster Cathedral, London. That's correct. Very nice. Another thing we can take a look at is the other data we get. So we're also getting flash here. Flash did not fire. What else? Image height and width. Make. So it was a Samsung phone, that's correct. I used to have a Samsung. And all sorts of stuff here. Make or note, what's that? Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, there's plenty of data to get. It's quite fun to play around with. Hope you found this useful. Enjoy!